In this video, I'd like to answer your question about soft hyperbaric chambers. Do soft hyperbaric chambers work or are they a complete scam and a waste of money? But first, subscribe to my channel to receive up-to-date information about hyperbaric therapy. To understand whether or not soft chambers work, let's define hyperbaric first. Hyper stands for increased and baric is pressure. So hyperbaric is increased pressure. It's an increased pressure environment inside a special vessel, which is called hyperbaric chamber. Hyperbaric chambers come in different shapes and forms. And we distinguish between soft chambers, which are made of soft material, and they can go to 1.3 or 1.4, 1.5, atmospheric pressure depending on the manufacturer and depending on the material that's being used. There are also hard shell chambers which are made of hard materials such as steel, acrylic, and these chambers can withstand a much higher pressure therefore they go to higher pressure. So they're used for conditions that require higher pressure environment two atmospheres, three atmospheres, and in some cases they go to uh, up to six, seven, eight atmospheres of pressure if it's a diving chamber, for example. So we have two types of chambers. In each chamber, we can recreate hyperbaric environment. And I say recreate because normally in natural conditions, hyperbaric environment occurs when we dive or when we go beneath the uh, sea level. So in a soft chamber, we're going up to 1.3 or 1.5 atmospheres of pressure. Why it, while it might not seem like a lot of pressure, if you think about it, right now I'm sitting here and I am subject to one atmosphere of pressure. There is a weight of atmosphere above me which exerts pressure that is equal to 1 ATA. So when you increase pressure to 1.3 ATA, that's actually increasing current pressure by 30%. So we're increasing oxygen that is available to our cells and tissues by 30%. And if we go to 1.5 atmospheres, we're increasing it by 50%. And I'm talking room air. We're not even connecting an oxygen concentrator here. So you can see that in a soft chamber environment, we can increase pressure to a certain level, which increases the amount of oxygen that is available to cells and tissues, which in turn is responsible for amazing benefits of hyperbaric therapy, such as increased blood flow, decreased inflammation, neuroplasticity and neuroregeneration, and stem cell production. And let's talk about stem cells for a second, because stem cells are essential for repair and regeneration. Maybe if you watched my previous videos, you know that um, under hyperbaric conditions, stem cell production and mobilization is increased as well. So let's compare stem cell production under 1.3 atmospheric pressure and two atmospheres of pressure. And there were studies that were done and then those stem cells were measured. So we actually have the exact numbers that we can compare. And this is called objective evidence. So we're not just empirically saying that yes, we guess that stem cells can increase. We actually have evidence for that. So there was a study that was done approximately two years ago and it was done under 1.3 atmospheres of pressure, room air, and they did 90 minute sessions. So they did nine 90 minute sessions and they measured stem cells before and after. And they concluded that stem cells doubled after nine treatments of 1.3 atmospheres of pressure. They were 90 minute sessions. So that's a significant increase in stem cells. Now another study that was done at two atmospheres of pressure uh, concluded that stem cells doubled after just one treatment and after 20 treatments they increased eightfold. So of course it's a much bigger increase in stem cells but it doesn't mean that there was no increase at 1.3 hyperbaric environment. Soft chambers create hyperbaric environment. This hyperbaric environment 
improves oxygen delivery to cells and tissues. It increases oxygen delivery to cells and tissues, which results in many benefits of hyperbaric. Soft chambers are not capable of going to higher pressure. They're not made for that. So for conditions that respond favorably to milder pressures, soft chambers might be a good fit because they also more affordable, more readily available and improved for home use. Now, hard shell chambers can be used for conditions that require higher pressures and those are usually FDA approved or NSH approved indications things like gangrene uh, arterial gas embolism if you look at those conditions all of those conditions are treated at higher pressures such as two atmospheres 2.4 atmospheres so of course it's impossible to create that kind of pressure in a soft chamber i hope this answers the question and now we understand that soft chambers have its place in a hyperbaric field they create hyperbaric pressure and whenever we have this pressure, we do get more oxygen to cells and tissues. We do receive benefits. However, not all conditions would be suitable for 1.3, 1.4 or 1.5 atmospheres of pressure. Before starting hyperbaric treatment, I strongly recommend consulting a hyperbaric practitioner who will look at your history, who will look at other conditions that you might have, who would assess your health goals and develop the most appropriate treatment plan that will suit your individual health needs. And if you're looking for a hyperbaric practitioner, there's a link in the video description that you can follow and book a consultation with me so we can look at your history and develop the most appropriate plan of action for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give us likes because it would allow more people to see this content.